Admit it, you secretly dream of finding buried treasure. The idea of finding that proverbial X denoting that thousands if not millions of dollars are just a few minutes of shovel work away is enough to keep anyone drooling late into the night. But that's only a dream, right? Well, not according to one eccentric millionaire. One ex-fighter pilot and art dealer from Santa Fe, New Mexico wanted to inspire a little hope for people during an economic rough patch in the country. So naturally, he hid insane wealth somewhere in one of America's largest mountain ranges. The problem? He gave just one cryptic clue about it. The eccentric Forrest Fenn, an 87-year-old in Santa Fe, New Mexico, flew fighter planes in Vietnam. He taught himself archaeology. He, along with his wife Peggy, dealt artworks and antiques out of a high-end gallery. Today, he receives 90 emails per day. The emails don't inquire about the exotic items in his personal collection, like a mummified falcon from King Tut's tomb or Sitting Bull's peace pipe, to name a few. They don't ask about the paintings he sold either. Instead, they ask about hidden treasure see a few decades ago in 1988 Forrest faced mortality in a serious way diagnosed with terminal kidney cancer he wanted to leave his mark on the world in a meaningful way so he plotted a crazy scheme bring treasure into the mountains and die beside it amazingly Forrest beat cancer so he shelved his treasure idea at least for a few decades on his 80th birthday however in the thick of an intense American recession Forrest revisited the idea Lots of people were losing their jobs Forrest recalled despair was written all over the headlines And I just wanted to give some people hope treasure could be that hope who doesn't secretly wish to find treasure and strike it rich So the 80 year old man loaded a 10 inch by 10 inch Romanesque box in the back of his sedan and stuffed an estimated two to five million dollars worth of jewels trinkets and gold coins into a backpack Then he started to drive he drove into the Rocky Mountains before parking his car and making two short trips on foot One where he carried the box to the hiding spot another to bring the jewels to that box He hid the 42 pound chest, but don't say I buried it. He added cryptically Curious treasure hunters now send him emails pleading for more information as to where the treasure might be Sometimes Forrest gives little hints, but most of the time he lets the major clue he's left behind do the talking Forrest published the memoir the thrill of the chase a book once found only in one single New Mexico bookstore on page 132 of the memoir he included a cryptic 24 line poem that points towards the treasures final hiding spot it goes like this as I have gone alone in there and with my treasures bold I can keep my secret where and hint of riches new and old begin it where warm waters halt and take it in the canyon down not far but too far to walk put in below the home of brown from there it's no place for the meek the end is ever drawing nigh there'll be no paddle up your creek just heavy loads and water high if you've been wise and found the blaze look quickly down to quest your cease but tarry scant with marvel gaze just take the chest and go in peace so why is it that I must go and leave my trove for all to seek the answers? I already know I've done it tired and now I'm weak So hear me all and listen good your effort will be worth the cold if you are brave and in the wood I give you title to the gold Naturally people were stumped by the poem which Forrest insisted contains nine distinct clues as to the treasures location dedicated communities pooled their resources playing at Indiana Jones in the hopes they find the treasure as of July 2018 the treasure remained unfound but the search wasn't a zero-sum game for all adventurers and amateur travel hunters for instance Dal Neitzel of Washington shown here managed a TV station but by night Dale made 70 trips to the Rockies over the years searching for the treasure and led a blog titled the thrill of the chase sound familiar an online forum for people discussing the hunt he like many others was thrilled by the adventure Another treasure hunter claimed clues from the poem guided her to Christ of the Mines shrine in Silverton, Colorado She didn't find the treasure there, but she found the eternal love of Christ a spiritual treasure 
Meanwhile, the memoir that once sold for peanuts started selling for over a thousand dollars on Amazon with such demand Forrest started doing book signings too. People wanted to comb through the book for insights into Forrest's thinking anything for the treasure Overall Forrest estimated over 350,000 people went searching through the Rocky Mountains for his treasure Unfortunately, not all of them lived to tell tales of spiritual reawakenings and fun adventures Six people have died in pursuit of the Forrest Fen treasure including Randy Balu below Authorities found his car his raft and his dog at the Rio Grande south of Santa Fe, but he never turned up Eventually the man's death was blamed on Forrest New Mexico State Police Chief Pete Cassettis shown here pressured Forrest to end the treasure hunt But Forrest never relented reminding people the treasure was in a spot an 80 year old man can get to in a sedan In fact Forrest reminded hunters. He ultimately had the treasure to inspire family-friendly adventure Kids spend too much time in the game room or playing with their little handheld texting machines He said the treasure the hope was for them too the search is supposed to be fun, he said. To appease authorities, he also noted that the treasure is not underwater, nor is it near the Rio Grande River. It's not necessary to move large rocks or climb up or down a steep precipice. Still, people are suspicious. Forest detractors claim the hunt was nothing more than a publicity for his memoir. The treasure, they say, never existed. The bookstore, however, claimed he never took a penny from sales. As to the treasure's existence, a friend of Forrest's, New York Times best-selling author Doug Preston, who actually saw the treasure at Forrest's house, put it best. Knowing Forrest for as long as I have, I can absolutely say with 100% confidence that he would never pull off a hoax. Indeed, by all accounts, Forrest definitely the type of guy who would bury $2 million in jewels. Sure, I'm eccentric, he once said. I pride myself on being eccentric. I don't want to go down the center line like a lot of people do. And hunters better not hope for some deathbed confession from Forrest. No one knows where the treasure chest is but me, he said. Even his family remains in the dark. If I die tomorrow, the knowledge of that location goes in the coffin with me. With all the fun and excitement around the hunt, Forrest admitted hiding the treasure was successful beyond his wildest dreams. But who will be the lucky person to finally find it? Many avid treasure hunters have tried and failed to find Forrest Fence treasure. Will you be the next to go searching? Check out these other videos from let me know if you haven't made the move to subscribe to our channel All you need to do is click on that red subscribe button. Thank you for watching